The Angels have won five of their last six games and three of their last four home games. They are playing very well offensively, scoring five or more runs in six of their last seven. Even though Watkins pitched well in his last start, he will have a hard time slowing down the Angels because they have hit the ball well against right-handers and they played well against him last season, scoring eight runs in three innings. The Orioles haven't been able to get going offensively, especially on the road where they are scoring less than two runs per game. They have a 189 batting average against right-handers and they're facing a starter that gave up two runs in his first two starts, so expect them to have a hard time scoring against the Angels. Gonna go with Los Angeles on the run line to win this one. LA Angels minus one and a half. The Orioles are averaging two runs per game and 1.17 runs per game on the road. They averaged 10.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Angels. Even though Los Angeles is given up 4.31 runs per game, they gave up one run per game in the two games started by Syndergaard. So don't expect the Orioles to score more than two runs in this one. The Angels are averaging five runs per game and 3.33 runs per game at home. They averaged seven runs per game in their last three games against the Orioles. With Baltimore giving up 3.67 runs per game on the road, the Angels won't score enough runs to push the score over the total. Going to have to go under 8.5 here. Once again, the two plays we're going to go with in this game, we're going with the Los Angeles Angels at minus 1.5, and, and we're going Baltimore, Los Angeles, under 8.5. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Go get them, gang. This is Trending Rabbit.